Today I've got a little video review here. This is going to be an app review on this application. Now, yeah, you think, oh wait, this isn't an application, this is a recovery. No, this is an application. It's an application right here, it's called Twerp Manager or Team Win Recovery Project Manager. And uh, it does some very, very cool things that I want to show you guys as, lo as well as just turning off there. Um, so we're going to kind of go through all of it today, hopefully. I give you a form understanding of this application and how it functions. So first I'm going to do some prerequisites for you. You're going to need to have super user or a super su, obviously some kind of a root application on your device. There's mine right there is uh, super su. So you have to have that on your device. It has to have root access. Um, also you have to have uh, recovery installed on your device to run uh, twerp manager. So it does have the splash screen. It looks just like twerp or team win recovery project. Um, it looks the same and they did that on purpose so that everybody had a good grasp of how to use it if you know how to use the recovery you would understand how to use this and I'm going to show you why this is nice and, and really the main way you use it so first things first you have to make sure you have root access you have to make sure you have uh, custom recovery installed so um, we're going to go ahead and go into advanced and if you pay, if you get the paid version, you can use these two features right here, which is install recovery and live backups. And I will go over both of them. So I have the paid version; it's like $2.99. You can get the free version, and then these two features right here are just blocked out. First, I'm going to show you this. This is a file manager. Works just like any file manager you've seen before. Lets you get in here and do stuff to your files. Look at your files. Um, so that's I'm not going to go through it too much, but it just it's there. It's a feature in the application. Next you have this install recovery. So if you have root access on your device, this right here is a Nexus 7 um, 2012 edition. You need to have obviously a device that has Torp recovery or can get Torp recovery or has an unlocked bootloader. Whatever those should function. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the install recovery. And the main thing it looks for right here is the name of your device. So it said, mine says grouper. Grouper is the code name for the 2012 Nexus 7. So that's my name, and then it says right here, Install Recovery. So we're just going to click on it. And what it's going to do is it's going to go online. It's going to download the rec most newest recovery for uh, Grouper slash uh, the Nexus 7 2012 version. And it's going to go ahead and download it, and it's going to ask you if you want to install it. So you can see right here it is downloading recovery.img shouldn't take too long as long as you're on your system bring that back out and it says warning about installing this is this the correct path it's supposed to be installed in now this should function and the path should be correct um, but it's basically this is the warnings basically just telling you they're not responsible for messaging your device up but I know this is correct for this device so we're gonna go ahead and hit yes and this is going to go ahead and make sure that the newest recovery was installed. It says flash, install flash successful. So that's really nice. If you ever need to install recovery, you can do it that way very simply. So I want to show you guys this. This is one of my absolute favorite features of Twerp Manager, and it is this live backups. This thing is just amazing. I've not seen this anywhere else, how this functions. I really, really love it and I'll explain to you why I like it. So let me just go into it. So we're gonna go live backups. This is a paid feature if you wanna get it, but it's well worth your money. So just come in here and highlight you know, everything you wanna back up. Um, I prefer not using the enable com uh, compression, and I don't worry about Android Secure either, but all the rest of those you can go ahead and um, back up. And then there again, it gives you the name of the backup. So I'm just gonna call this one test I don't know what do I want to call this one eight it was random test eight so there you go that's it um, and then you just swipe across and now uh, you would think this is gonna reboot your device but it's not it's going to do an Android backup with your device on okay just what no nah, I've never heard of this how do you do a backup without going to recovery I don't even know dude I don't know how the magic of this thing works but I absolutely love it so literally you can let this recovery run and now it does take 
longer than a normal recovery. Maybe a normal recovery is like eight minutes. This might take 20, 30. It, it, it takes longer because your system is running, so it has to like kind of work around your system a little bit. Um, but it is absolutely amazing. So, so here we go. Where the system is running. I mean, I can go back and it does do a little bit of redraw here, but not a big deal because you're, you're doing things to it you're not supposed to really. I mean, not really not supposed to, but you know, it's a little, it's running a whole backup right now while your system's still running. You can go in. I mean, seriously, I went in and I played games while this thing's is, this, this backup is running and it's fine. So, I mean, it's absolutely amazing. And you can still see up here on top in my notifications that, uh, initialize um, I'm sorry finalizing backup and it's gonna say that like I said for like 20 minutes um, 25 minutes maybe depending on how much data you have it could be longer um, I've got about I think a couple gigs of data so when it comes to the size of my normal Android backups um, anyway so very very cool you can go back into it and you can see it's just running so we're gonna let this run and then I'm just gonna show you the backup it created warp speed Zulu all right, so you guys can see that our uh, recovery is finished. And if you uh, pull down the top up here, it says backup is complete or live backup is complete, I should say. So we can kind of we can go back here, go back again, go to restores, and if you ever need to restore that live Android backup, it restores exactly like uh, any backup, which is really really cool. Sorry, there we go. And uh, where is it at here? Right there, test eight. That's the one we want right there. So you would you would, you know here you could rename it or delete it with the long press. Um, let me go back out. Oh, sorry. Go back into the recoveries there. There. So you can just select it and slide across, and it'll restore that in Android backup. And it, it restores just like any backup would through here. Um, or you can even use it in normal, get into Torp normally, and do a backup that way. However, however you want to do it. So pretty pretty sweet live backups. Absolutely amazing. Alright, so that's the advanced features. Let's go through the settings really quick. So it talks about enabling log, disabling like the splash screen, so the screen that start when you start up, it says the twerp and then goes into the, to the features. Um, re if you're, it's not seeing your SD card, you can do something right there to check it. Here you can purchase the premium tool with the live updates and, or live backups I should say, and the install recovery script to get recovery on your device. That's pretty much all you have in settings. Mounts is it says it's not functional for this device. It's really not going to be used probably. It's more in there for a look so that Torp Manager looks exactly like Torp Recovery. Um, that's the main point there. You do have a reboot menu and this looks exactly the same and it works exactly the same. It'll reboot system, power off, reboot recovery, or reboot bootloader as long as you have root access. So there you go. That's most of your buttons. So let's go through the backups, the restores, and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's pretty simple if you want to make a for, first of all wipes is just for doing a wipe so if you want to wipe something do a factory reset wipe any of those things you can just highlight everything you want to wipe or see rat factory reset does all of them or you can just pick individually and wipe what you want to wipe um, and then you just swipe across and it's gonna go ahead and wipe all that stuff out for you so pretty cool but that's all it's there really for. So you don't really need to use that if you're doing like an install. You don't need to wipe there. Uh, and I'll show you that too. But that's what it's there if you want to do a factory reset. It's very simple, easy to do. It will reboot into recovery now that you have it installed. And do wipe and then it'll reboot the phone back and it'll be reset. Or tablet, whatever device. So first I'm going to show you a backup. So in here you just got to come in, highlight everything you want to back up. I want to back up, yeah, probably all that. Enable compressions. Android security looks good. Internal because this device doesn't have an external. Then you swipe across. And then it asks you what backup name you want to have. So I'm going to call this one, just for right now, backup test. And it has all the date in there also. And then you hit OK. And the device is going to reboot into actual twerp manager or twerp not twerp manager actual twerp recovery and it's going to automatically run the backup and then it's going to reboot the device back to your normal system so you pretty much can walk away right now and when you come back in like 10 minutes it's going to be back to your normal system warp speed zulu
So you guys probably saw me going ahead and uh, pushing the screen. That was just to make sure the screen stayed on. I wasn't actually actually doing anything but tapping the screen and then unlocking the device again so you could see what was going on. Um, so that backup took me about six minutes to make and totally automated. We're just basically watching it and the device is rebooting and should boot up and we'll be uh, back in business here. So let me unlock it and uh, we're done. You can even see that we still have that recovery image downloaded up there. We can go right back into the recovery system. There's that splash screen you can disable if you guys want to. And we're back. And now you can go to restores and you have that backup. Where was it at? Backup test right there, that one. And then you can go ahead and flash and restore. I'm not going to do that quite yet. What I want to do really quick is show you guys an install, how it functions. So we're going to install CM11. Click that one, say yes, add another one. Click the gaps and say no because we're done adding anymore. And then we're going to do a full wipe. And if you top click the top one, we'll also do a backup beforehand. But we just did that. So now we're going to install CM11. And it's going to be it. It's pretty simple. You've already set it all up. Again, it's just going to run the recovery script. And when it's done running the recovery script, it'll boot up in CM11. It just automates it all for you. You're not really, you know, it just makes it a real simple, smooth, clean process for installing a ROM, doing a backup, everything super duper nice. So let this run. Warp speed, Zulu. Open it up. Go ahead and say remember choice and allow. And we're back in the manager. So I'm going to go ahead and restore just to show you that process too. So again, you just pick your backup test. Everything's highlighted. Swipe across. And we're going to restore our device. Pretty simple to do a restore. This is going to bring us right back to the operating system I was running from the get-go. So let's let that run. Warp speed, Zulu. There you go, go ahead and unlock the device, open up Twerp, and uh, that's it guys. That is how Twerp Manager works. That is the beauty of it, it's just automation. The live backups down here in advance, if you want to pay for this feature, is amazing. Absolutely love how that functions. Um, so there you go. Hope you guys like this app review of Twerp Manager. Um, awesome application, great developers, been working with them a little bit on it, just helping them with some bug fixes, but this thing is wicked awesome. So, hope you guys like it, and catch you next time. Root Junkie, out.